Here's what people are talking about. You guys, uh, today President Trump gave a big speech on national security. He focused on the three biggest threats to our country, Russia, North Korea, and Omarosa. <laughs> and... <laughs> At one point, he said, we will never lose sight of our values and their capacity to inspire, uplift, and renew. Then he realized someone left an old Obama speech in the teleprompter. <laughs> It doesn't sound like me at all. What just happened? Whoa! Come on, Donald, improvise. <laughs> Go, Fefe! Oh, man. Once again, it seemed like Trump's mouth was getting a little dry. You know, he's been having that problem where he's like, <laughs> yeah. you know, United, United States. Why United States? Well, well, because his mouth was getting dry. Really? But anyways, uh, take a look. His mouth is getting a little... Where we are going in the years ahead. Oh. Well, I've lost my appetite forever. Okay, it's like... It's like a, it's like a baby trying solids for the first time. It's like... I wonder if he remembered his water this time. Did he have any water on it? Okay. Oh, damn! Hey! Come on! I don't understand. What? Who's talking to him? Someone you know, tell him he can't drink water like that. <laughs> that ought to really strike some fear in our enemies. <laughs> don't you dare mess with us. Ah, wah, wah. That's how a baby drinks out of a sippy cup. Yeah, yummy. Well, this is pretty crazy. Uh, it was revealed that the Pentagon had a top secret program to investigate UFOs and aliens, which is why Trump announced plans to build a dome over the earth and make ET pay for it. <laughs> that seems like my speech. <laughs> What's going on? What are, what are I saw that yesterday. <laughs> no idea. Come on. I said yesterday, even like he grabbed it, dragged it, and threw it away. I don't care. That's so much tougher just than just throw the water the in your face. baby sip. It's better than that. Just pick it up, squirt it like squirt a Gatorade it. bottle. Yeah, exactly. Get Nobody him a cares. sports bottle. Yeah. With the sports stuff, you just go. Get like a Boda bag, like one of those. <laughs> squeeze it. Or in Or like your a mouth. Camelback thing, like a backpack with a tube in his yeah. mouth. Wouldn't care. Silly straw. Uh. You guys see this? There was an 11 hour power outage at the airport in Atlanta yesterday, and people were stranded on the tarmac for six hours. Oh Don't worry, though, flight attendants came through every hour with a thimble sized cup of room temperature water. <laughs> that, that made them happy. <laughs> Would you? Oh, no. sorry. <laughs> Achoo. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Oop, that's spilled. Sorry. It's a perfect size. Uh, but this is nice. Uh... <laughs> They make glassware too yeah. large. Uh, hey, this is kind of funny. I saw that Mark Hamill and Ted Cruz got into a Twitter fight over net neutrality. It got pretty heated at one point. Hamill thought, oh, no, is this where I find out Ted Cruz is my father? Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Ted, did you, you see about, uh, hear about this? Uh, last night, Donald Trump Jr. posted a photo of himself and Ted Cruz on Instagram with the caption, some good friends decided they would get me an early 40th birthday cake. <laughs> And what birthday is complete without an Obama cake? Well, if you look closely, you can actually tell what everyone in that photo is thinking. For example, Don Jr. is thinking, I'm nailing this smile. This is totally what a normal person's smile looks like. Next up, Ted Cruz is thinking, this is the first picture of my life where I've had the best-looking face. And finally, Obama is thinking, how did this dude get to be 40 years old without learning the difference between a cake and a cookie? Hey, you guys, Christmas is just a week away, and a lot of people are just getting around to doing their Christmas shopping. It can be a little stressful. So here to help with some last-minute Christmas gift ideas, please welcome our holiday correspondent, Julio Torres, everybody. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So nice to see Hello. you. Thank you. Julio Torres, everybody. Hey. Hello, Jimmy, and ho, ho, ho. All right, Julio, last time you were here, you had some uh, Halloween costume ideas that were very uh, conceptual and, and yeah. almost impossible to get, I would say. Yes, yes, Jimmy. I heard the feedback, so none of that this time. Just very, very easy ideas anyone can get. Okay, okay, great. Go ahead. Okay, first gift idea. You've heard of tree skirts, right? 
-hmm. Well, how about tree pants? <laughs> Because even though all Christmas trees are ladies, some of them like to wear pants. <laughs> okay, here's another idea. A miniature bridge that connects your ear with your lover's ear, so that your hopes and dreams can enter his head at night. <laughs> yeah, Hulu. These seem to be kind of hard to find. Already. Okay. Well, how about something easier, like a chandelier earrings with little open flames, because no one ever said beauty was easy. <laughs> Or how about a golden hand mirror that shows you the reflection of your rival when you say, "Show me the girl." <laughs> Julio, how about something that people can order online? Yeah, sure, like a platypus. It's like, guess what? Bisexuality is real, and so am I. <laughs> Or a locket with an old picture of a soldier who you've never met and yet seems familiar, but how? <laughs> what about like something like socks or something? Why, why would anyone need socks, Jimmy? No, no, no. How about instead a music box that can only be locked from the inside by the ballerina? <laughs> Or an autographed picture of me in a little bullfighter outfit? Don't pretend you're not dying to see that. I know a few people who would love that. Yeah. Or a big, gorgeous hat you can wear and slowly tilt up to reveal your face, like Kate Winslet in Titanic. <laughs> Or okay, how about a coffee table book of your niece posing for Christmas tree pictures like this? <laughs> And of course, okay, this one might be a little obvious, but a locked little door that comes with a small mail slot through which tiny letters appear every now and then. But you can open them because they're addressed to Umberto, and that's not you. <laughs> oh. What about just like a nice candle? Jimmy, no, people are gonna think you're weird. Yeah. Give it up for tonight's show holiday correspondent Julio Torres. You're sweaty now, thank you. Still nice. Your hands—they're not a little. They're—they're they're a little wet. A little clammy. A little not clammy, clammy, not Sorry, that clammy. Thank you. Julio Torres, right there. Thank you, buddy. A little wet. <laughs> uh, finally, you guys, I read that marijuana-infused wines are coming to states with legal weed. Yep, something that makes you drunk and high at the same time. Then Nyquil said, uh, hello. <laughs> We have a great show tonight. Give it up.